I'd always been keen to give backpack hunting a go, and with the last long weekend before Christmas and the gates freshly opened, we thought it'd be a perfect time to finally give it a go. We got our gear together, mainly cheap, borrowed, or whatever we could find on AliExpress, and set off. We knew this place was going to be fairly good. We'd uh, done our research, talked to hunters that had used this area before, so we thought anything less than 27 inch would be an absolute fail. Of course, hunting trip isn't always about shooting awesome deer, it's about the adventure along the way. We were going to learn a hell of a lot this trip, we probably didn't realise how much that was going to be at this stage. Now I know the GoPro's not doing that justice, but that is one awesome rock shelter. So, look at the view. Hard to beat that. So this is my first attempt at going on a backpack hunt. So we've found a, picked a spot on a map, which is a couple of K walk in. And this is just one of the little things we found on the way in. I mean, if it was a bit closer, we'd probably camp in here because there's a uh, Amazing amount of natural shelter here, but we've still got a couple of k's to go. We're just going to have a look around and we'll get down to a spur of down a bit further. Looked pretty clear on Google Earth and got a couple of glassing spots marked in the GPS. Hopefully a deer will pop out in front of us. We've got three days in here. So we've, uh, we use the first half of the day one walking in, hunt this afternoon, all day tomorrow. And uh, Monday we'll have a last little look before we walk out. Thought I was fairly fit after the hand season, but uh, I'm learning. Not so. How are you going? <laughs> harder. <laughs> it is harder, isn't it? Definitely higher. Mm. Hundred percent camp here. It actually goes right around both sides, so it wouldn't matter where the weather's coming from. You find a spot in here. Get out of the weather. The serenity is amazing. As we walked along, amazed by the bush and the views, it did occur to me more than once there was no fresh sign. Nevertheless, I was just so excited to be out having a look around at this amazing country. Hey? Huh? A little snow gum, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, not unless they have to. They're not living up here. No, no too thick. Yeah, we're nearly there. That's the junction of the river, mm -hmm. I think. It's the next, it's the top of that next one. Yeah. 
This is pretty well ass. 700 meters. Yeah, it's the top of that spur we've got to get to. How, where are we going over there, you reckon? Well, see that the clearing on the rocky bit? Yeah, and then we'll... Yeah, from that's where the hill drop is. That straight, the far ridge there. This, cl this close one. The close one, you reckon? Yeah. yeah. We're nearly there. And this is the stuff. He said, you've nearly got to go down to that saddle yeah. to look back under these bluffs. Yeah. And that bit there. So this the other one, yeah. It's fucking us right up. Hey? This wind is fucking us right up. Oh, we'll go and set camp up and... There's nothing we can do about it, we're here now. Mm -hmm. If we get over there, it's actually gonna, this area will settle pretty quick. So that saddle, saddle. Yeah, we set over there somewhere. Wind's gone that way. Yeah. We'll just really shoot back in here. Yeah, shoot back under. They wouldn't smell us or hear us over there. How far would the descent travel? Oh, I don't know. See, we're hot, so it probably goes up and dissipates pretty quick. Fuck. Isn't there a remote that is like sort of... How long it, like, since someone's been... I don't know. If I was really fit, I'd hike down to there, but... Next time. Yeah. And how long since someone's been, like, on this ridge? Could have been... Okay. Hey? How long since someone's walked that ridge in the middle, you reckon? Oh, like I say, years. That could have been yesterday. Could have been yesterday, but... Fuck, no one's been over there for a long time. It's too bluffy. We're probably just scanning over a monster stag right now. There would be one in that valley. All these white flecks just look like granite. Alright, should we get to camp and commence hunting? Yeah, we should. What do we think of it? Full steam ahead to camp? Yeah, we're nearly there. Set up, a cup of coffee. This, so the other one on the right. Yeah. Sorry, what was that? Oh, uh, it's like wallowy. Where about? If you want. Oh, hang on, look, literally right there. Yeah, like, see, you got the two, like, the two clearish bits. The one on the right, in close to the middle, there's two, like, roundish spots, sort of, yeah. yeah, I don't know, towards the top, maybe. Sort of halfway up or towards like four the Four fifths ish, three quarters ish. And the top one, it looks wet. Oh, I would agree. I would agree. I'll tell you what, it'd nearly be. It'd only be worth sitting here, yeah. looking yeah, at that. Happening, eh? But we'll go. We'll just go over there because I want to sit in that saddle if I can. You want to be able to get like access, eh? That's the problem. To that? Yeah, I mean, like if we were to sit here in glass. Yeah, you're not shooting it, are you? No, then you've got to go all the way around. So. Yeah, you'd run out of daylight. We need to get further over that wind. We need to get it out of this valley. <laughs> We were sure there would be a good stag in the valley, so we set off to make camp and to get the maximum hunting time in we possibly could. Just got to get up to there. It's just back there, but then we'll hmm? then we'll come back here to glass. Yeah, we're just going up to that bluff over there. Yeah, I feel it's that. Like, what do you reckon there? Yeah, I reckon we'll be coming back here to glass this evening. Yeah, yeah, I would think that looks like. So I reckon when we get to the top of this hill, 
it's just to the south of it and then we'll set up hey it says we've only got 490 meters Remember that mark's only a guess too. Yeah. Well, we've walked in. We've set up camp just behind us here on a bit of flat. What we got in front of us here is real open bushland. Some of it looks like you'd be shooting out under the MCG, but it is seven or eight hundred metres away by the rangefinder, which is probably a bit beyond me. And. Uh, the country's pretty steep, so more interested at the moment just if we can see one. It's 10 in the morning, so it's pretty well the worst time of day to actually start hunting. It doesn't mean I'm not going to keep looking. Um, yeah, just uh, set up here and do a bit of glass and crack in view. I uh, just actually sat here and had a coffee, and I can't remember having one in a better spot. Yeah, the wind is also very, very annoying because I sat up here to actually look that way and then the wind started blowing over my shoulder that way. So I thought, right, we'll look down here. Now the wind's coming straight over my back down there and it's just been swirling all day. Um, but yeah, tomorrow will be our main hunting day. So for now, just going to do a bit of glassing. I've got the better camera there with a the zoom on it if we get, get uh, something spotted. And uh, yeah, hopefully a good stag wanders out. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, probably won't bother taking one for meat until the la very last day, very last morning. Um, it is a hell of a long way out from here. Um, yeah, four four kilometres, but it's pretty big country, so it was um, well up and down. Someone that's uh, thought they were pretty fit from hand hunting. Yeah, got a bit of a wake up call when you start putting all your gear on your back and walk up and down. I know those blokes that do this very, very easy. Hopefully I can get to that level one day. So uh, yeah, I say it's a little bit harder than I thought it was gonna be. But uh, yeah, so far thoroughly enjoying it. Hopefully we can find a deer. Right, we've had a bit of a look around. We've come up with this spot to glass on. If one comes out though and I shoot it, I'm still not 100% sure I'll get to the bloody thing. But um, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, I suppose. There is ways through the bluffs, but yeah, just as hard. Over behind us out that way is a bit the same. A lot closer over there, so. Yeah, a lot of these faces, 300 metres. And then, look, it doesn't look that much further, but you're 700 odd over there. Anyway, thoroughly enjoyed it. All the walking in here, I haven't spent a lot of time hunting yet, but I'll, um, yeah, we'll hunt here until dark. Camp's only about 300 metres up that ridge. So we'll camp here, we'll see if we can see one. Get a shot at it, even better. And uh, yeah, worry about recovering it tomorrow. Um, yeah, if not, We'll, uh, we'll hunt again tomorrow. Well, still day one, still glassing. Annoyingly, still haven't seen a deer. But, um, yeah, learning more about the area all the time. I 
we uh, got caught on a bench up there. Just managed to get down below it. Still got four hours till dark, but it's uh, getting towards the point now that if we got something, we'd have to recover it tomorrow, I think, because it'd just be too hard to get to. But, uh, yeah, so the first hunting trip into an area, you always manage to bugger it up a little bit because you don't know exactly where you want to go, where you should camp. So, yeah, I don't think we've camped in the ideal spot. But we're there now, and we didn't know how to get down here, so we wasted about half hour working that out, but we're here now. And yeah, hopefully four hours to go, we'll, um, we'll find some critters to look at. I want to find them, I bought the buddy big camera in, so <laughs> I'm going to be annoyed if I don't get to use it. Um, I'm going to find a spot in the shade. shoot them without antlers. But yeah, the furthest shot there would only be just over 500, which is easily doable. Probably just need them to play the game. There's old marks up here. So the deer do come up here. That wind is not our friend. Just need one silly stag to pop out there. seen a single deer. Um, it's quite bizarre. Like, it's meant to be some of the best hunting country in North, in Australia and um, yeah I would have thought we would have laid eyes on one at least. Um, the wind hasn't been been very favourable. It's blown from every direction today but still I, you know we're looking at faces that are sort of 700 metres away. Nothing. You know been, this has been enjoyable, but uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll use this last little bit of light, get back to camp and reload tomorrow and see where we go. But, um, yeah, a little bit disappointed in the hunting, not disappointed in the trip at all, it's been fantastic so far, but um, yeah, hopefully we lay our eyes on a few. We didn't see any deer day one. And morning two wasn't any better, with clouds totally socking us in and visibility less than 20 metres till 7.30. But as soon as it broke, I was into it. Sure that today would be the day I would lay eyes on a good stag. Can't see more than 20 metres in front of me. Yeah, day two hasn't started great. So I'll we'll wait for this to clear and hopefully they're out. It's very still though. Just not gonna help it clear. You know. Go see what we can find, eh? Doesn't matter that the weather's broke and that I can actually see. Still no deer. Yeah, 
and I don't know what to do now. There's been no deer in this valley last night. There's no deer in this valley this morning. Well, that I can see anyway. You'd assume they're there. It's beautiful country for them. There's very little sign in this area. I'm wondering whether the really dry month last month has pushed them right down the bottom along that river, but uh, that river's way too far for me to get to. There's another ridge over there, but I can see the clouds still hanging over it. That shows in, that goes into a different valley. And we'll go and try that this afternoon because I can actually look into this one and the other one. A bit like here. There's none in these two. I mean, if I had more time, I'd probably hike out now and change locations totally, but I don't have time. All the energy. So, lucky hunting's not only about getting the uh, getting what you're after, it's just about being out here relaxing. I've got to keep reminding myself that, but it's hard to hard to keep a young kid who uh, is just up a bit further hard to keep him excited about it when there's just not seeing anything. But I suppose if we weren't, if you didn't have days like this, you wouldn't enjoy it when you got one. It'd become boring very quickly just coming out shooting one every time. It's a beautiful place to just sit. Just obviously I find it better than the deer do currently. Well, I think I'm flogging a dead horse looking in these two valleys. Um, yeah, it's been probably all up. I've maybe spent 10 hours glassing in here and the one just behind us. Add another eight hours for my young fella. Another eight hours for my mate that's up there. I'd reckon if there was a deer in here, we would see it. So I'm gonna go back via camp a couple of hundred metres down, down the next spur, which you'll be able to see in the distance. Not this closer one here, not the next one, that taller one there. I wander down that, and that'll let me look into the next valley and another angle on this one. See if that changes my luck. One thing I have discovered though is I'm fitter than I thought because I would have thought after being up and down and hiking in yesterday I'd have sore legs. Not suffering with that, which has um, made this thing a whole bunch more pleasant. The other thing is that uh, I'm just not going through water like I thought we would. So I bought, uh, what I end up bringing, uh, bought 11 litres in for myself. Um, and my young fella bought another four in and uh, we still haven't gone through our camelbacks um, uh, we've used a bit of uh, a bit of one of the bottles for cooking but yeah I definitely overshot with the water but always better to be safe and have too much of that than too little it can ruin your trip real quick running down I've done that before uh, I'm wasting time here off to the other ridge First deer of the trip, two kilometres away, <laughs> sitting on that face over there, right out in the open. Definitely would not ever consider taking a shot at that, but nice to finally see one.
Well, I'm all but convinced that the deer must be down against the creek, but there's no way knowing I've got the energy or the water to get all the way down there and back up. Truth be told, probably don't even have the daylight. But it's uh, three o'clock. I'm gonna spend the rest of the day just glassing this little valley here, which looks amazing. Um, and just hope that one has come up. It's quite warm as well. So yeah, anyway, it's um, yeah the last afternoon. So the last real good chance. I'll have a little look in the morning, but we gotta get out of here by sort of 7.30, 8 o'clock. So it won't be a real long go in the morning. We come down, quick look and get out. Yeah. So here we go. We only ever laid eyes on the one deer for the trip, albeit at an extreme distance. I never did bother looking the next morning. Figured if we hadn't seen one in the 25 to 30 hours of glassing we'd already done, it would just be a waste of time. The trip was an awesome experience, even with the lack of deer. We've already planned for another two trips. We learned a hell of a lot through this trip and can't wait to get out on the next one. We now know if it's hot, the deer will be down low. And only to bother going up high when it's been raining. Difficult when the gates are shut, but probably worth the walk in. The trip was an awesome experience, even with the lack of deer. And we've already planned for another trip or two. We learned a hell of a lot through the trip where to camp, where the deer are more likely to be when it's warm and dry and can't wait to get out on the next one. Thanks for watching, fingers crossed our luck turns and we can get one on the deck next trip. Deer. It's finding stuff like this that most of the population just don't see. I mean, this is only about 2k's off the track. Well worth the walk in here. Well worth the walk in here. We've still got about another two to go to camp, but we're gonna have a good look around here before we keep going.